are the ingredients for cow cloak kapi or shrimp paste rice. Of course, you need some rice, shrimp paste, some pork which I marinated with fish sauce, and some garlic. We're going to cook this up with a little food coloring mixed with the shrimp paste. And for our fixings, we need some tomatoes, some shredded cabbage, some mango, and some diced yard bean or sitao. To start off with some thinly sliced pork that has been marinated in fish sauce, and we're going to do medium heat until the pork gets quite crispy. Okay. Be sure to start with new oil, and I'm going to adjust it now to medium heat and get this to a crispy taste. The pork cake okay, is kind of crispy and we're adding some sugar which we're going to melt and caramelize and you've got the caramelized pork. Okay, for the rice, start with some garlic. We put in our cuppy and red food color to create a nice pink hue on our rice. So we're going to mix that well as the rice fries in the oil. So I put a little water to moisten the shrimp paste and to spread the food color. As you can see now, the rice has acquired a rather pinkish color. What we're going to do is we're going to plate this now with the fixings. Okay, time to mold the rice. Mmm, that smells really wonderful. That in a container that I have lightly applied some oil to, some grease. There you go. All right, so we got it molded and we're going to put our fixings. This is fermented mango. We put our onions. We have to play around with the color. Then we put our ripe tomato. Next comes the yard beans or the sitao. Let's put some shredded cabbage and the caramelized pork, the one we did a while ago. We had some chopped cheese. So again, you've got some beautiful colors. Finally, a nice dollop of cilantro. And there you go. 